Hi, and welcome back. Now today we're going to talk about warming up. Just like an athlete who needs to warm up before a run, well, a musician can also benefit from a warm up. I'm a woodwind instrument, so our first thing we want to look at is our breathing. The best thing we can do is take it a calming deep breath. So with me, we're going to take a deep breath from below here. Imagine you're filling up like a balloon, not high in your shoulders, but low down here. And just with your hands, you can go and then blow up, pushing the air back out. Just a bit. take your hands and pretend there's a balloon there. And out. Those at home who do yoga, you would probably breathe in through your nose, but with music playing, we tend to use our mouth for our breathing in and out. So one more. And push out. So that's the concept of what the best sound we'll get from that type of breathing. Now, what we want to do is choose the best note on our instrument. And we want ourselves to set our, maybe a B on the saxophone, uh, a B on the flute, although it won't sound the same as on the saxophone, and an E on the clarinet, which will sound the same as this. Okay, and check our posture. If we're standing or sitting, shoulders aren't slumped, we're setting up right like this. Your legs aren't crossed. We've seen that before in our lessons. So your legs, legs both flat down and shoulder length apart. Check your adjusting of your neck strap so that the saxophone comes up to you rather than you go down to the saxophone. Okay, our concept is you want to take that nice breath Set your mouth position, the embouchure, and blow out a sound, your best sound, for four to eight seconds. So what we're looking for, we want no shaking of the sound. We want a nice, stable sound like this, keep it even sound. Um, you want to keep your air pushing all the way through the a consistent amount. A great way of thinking of your support of your air. We talk about air support. Imagine you've tied a rope to the end of a wall somewhere and you're pulling it. If you relax it, it sags. If you pull towards you, the rope will be tight. Imagine that same concept with your air. I say pull in the rope. You can hear the difference when I let it sag and when I push it in. So that'll help you get the concept. Okay, so we're blowing our best sound for eight seconds. I'm trying not to start with the tongue for this exercise. See if you can get your air. A couple things you might want to adjust. How much reed you put in the mouth, too much or not enough. How tight your lips are, how loose they are. Cheeks, keep your cheeks in. And how strong you're blowing your air. We're looking for about a mezzo forte dynamic. Medium now. Then you can adjust the tuning if you need to check that on the tuner app if you have for the more advanced players but that'll get you started so the best thing listen and repeat listen and adjust and repeat do a few of those and then we're ready to move on um okay i'll just do one really quick here with the clarinet okay with the clarinet same concept look at your posture is it too high too low Listen, adjust. Think of that pulling in the air. Instead of pulling it with your hand, you're pulling it with your tummy. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is take that best sound and move it from other notes downwards. So I tend to slur two or three notes at a time, maintaining the same best sound on the first note and moving down to the next. And you can hear there's a little difference between the D sound and the E sound. So you want to try to keep them equal.
same with your tummy muscles. Push the air through so it's consistent. Okay, and I tend to, on the saxophone, my students will know, we tend to take that first sound, maybe then go up to a C, and then transfer that best C sound into the low notes with this exercise. <laughs> It's not a finger exercise, it's a sound exercise. So really listen to yourself, feel how the air is working, check adjustments for the embouchure. And then you can work your way back up from the low C. Okay, um, more advanced players can go into the higher notes on the clarinets, transfer those low notes into the high by adding your thumb. Flute players can play the low notes into the high notes. So those things will help you. But just for the basics, from absolutely beginners up to advanced professionals, they all benefit from that initial exercise of playing one note, getting your best sound blowing through the air. If that's all you do is get your air going through. Okay, um, you can do a little bit of tonguing exercise, trying to maintain the tonguing effect as you the tongue is moving forward, ta 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 ta, as the air continues. <laughs> Try not to stop your air. <laughs> it's a separate puffs. One long puff and push your air. <laughs> then you can work your way down to other notes if you want. <laughs> Go down to the range of the instrument, and then you can take that up higher if you're a more advanced player. Okay, and we have some maybe some finger exercises you might want to do as well. If you're um, a beginner player, you know my finger ballet exercises. Um, even for the initial one, B to A, we can do B for two, A for two, B for two, A for two, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Be able to say it and move your fingers as if they're a robot. Imagine you programmed a robot. You would program it to the most efficient moves. And then we'd have a blow with the same thing, trying to maintain a slurring sound, keep the support of the air. As you progress into more advanced techniques, you can incorporate that into your warm-up as well. But this is some basic things that all my players from absolute beginners right up to advanced can make use of. And then, uh, as you say, many of you have some worksheets. I can put some worksheets to upload onto the website and so you can download if you're missing some of those or new people coming to our, sh our videos can download if they wish. So good luck with doing some warm-ups. Most of the thing, important part of warm-up is listening adjusting and repeating. Listen, adjust and repeat. Good luck with that and go, you've done your warm up so go out and play right now. Go play a tune or practice something new and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.